Gute and welcome to this tutorial, where I will show you how you use private GPT to query the content of your documents. And all of this I'm going to show you is happening on your local computer, so no cloud, no internet connection required. And as this is a voice technology YouTube channel, you might have an idea what we will add on top. So we will bring in two more features. And on the one side, we will have spoken output, so the query that will be responded by private GPT will be spoken using Koki TTS. And on the input side, we will add OpenAI's open source speech recognition technology stack called Whisper. We will take your spoken input, process it using private GPT, and results will be spoken by Koki TTS. If you like that video, please give it a thumb up. Let me know in the comments on what you think. And please subscribe to my channel as this would really help me and this channel a lot. Without further ado, let's go into it. Let's start by taking a look to the GitHub repository. I'm going to put a link to it in the description box below. And as you might see by the commit history, the project is really new. So the first commit originally has been done about one month ago. So this is really a fresh project. There's lots of room for improvement. I think that query your local documents based on a large language model really has a huge and a huge potential. There is another project that has been inspired by private GPT called local GPT. And as you can see, this has been inspired by original private GPT. I'll put a link to it in the description box too. But in this video, I'm going to focus on the original on the private GPT. Let's start by taking a look to the requirements and we'll see two famous projects. This uh, GPT for all, which is based on that Llama, Llama based uh, large language model. And I've made a video tutorial on how to use GPT for all, including voice synthesized output. I'm going to add this video link in the description box too. And by the end of this video, we'll put all of this in one Python script. So the whisper magic, the private GPT magic, and last but not least, the Koki TTS magic. Let's see the readme. And uh, it's pretty simple to set up. So all we have to do is to um, install the requirements. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code on my MacBook Air M1. I've created an empty directory called private GPT. And as mostly, let's start by creating a Python virtual environment to separate this experiment from my global Python configuration by running Python 3 minus mvenv. And let's activate it by running source bin activate. And now, as you can see, we have that private GPT, so the folder name in the brackets before the actual path. And now let's do an upgrade on the Python package index, pip minus uppercase U for upgrading. Now let's run pip list. This should be really empty. So just pip and setup tools installed at the moment. Now let's clone the private GPT GitHub repository. So copy the URL git clone and let's switch into the private GPT subfolder and let's install the requirements. Once this is done, let's again check pip list. And as you can see, the list is now definitely longer. Let's take a look to the folder structure on the left navigation side, so private GPT, and we have that source documents folder, which by default brings in a state of the union text file. And here you have to add all your related documents. I've added three PDF documents containing uh, text to speech papers. Private GPT supports multiple file types, um, such as CSV files, Microsoft Office files, emails, markdowns, PDF, obviously, and uh, all of these document types can be handled by private GPT and you have to put these files into the related source documents directory. And before we can create an index or add these documents to that large language model to be queried later on, we have to add our base model. So let's scroll a little bit up and here's a link to uh, uh, one of the models that are supported. I've downloaded the bin file and created a new folder called models and inside that models folder we have that model file. The next step is to take a look through that example.environment file and 
Here you might be able to adjust the model path if you have downloaded another model or if it's not inside that models folder. But here this is the case. So all we have to do is we have to remove that example. So it's a just .env file. So, and that's all. Let's go back to the documentation. And now it's time to run this ingest Python script. Please make sure you are still inside your private GPT Python virtual environment and run ingest Python. As you can see, there has been four documents be found in that source documents directory. All of this has been processed and now we can run private GPT to query your documents. Before adding the voice tech parts, let's just give it a try with the original private GPT script. So run Python private GPT. Let's enter a query. Tell me about step time. So what happened, we now had the question, tell me about step time, the generated answer, at least there is a step time reference, and um, the reference to the found documents where it took its information from. So you can see this is taken from the source documents and the TTS paper document PDFs. So this is working in general. Pretty cool already, huh? So let's exit this one. Now it's time to add Whisper for the input speech recognition part and Koki TTS for the spoken synthesized audio results. So for this, we have to add some more dependencies to our Python virtual environment. Let's start with Whisper. And let's go to the GitHub repository of OpenAI Whisper and scroll down that readme and just copy this line, pip install or upgrade OpenAI Whisper. Let's run it in our Python virtual environment. And now Whisper is installed on your local computer. And for the output path, let's install pip install TTS minus U, which is the Koki TTS package. And now we should have, in addition to private GPT, we should have installed the Whisper and the Koki TTS package in our Python virtual environment. So let's check the pip list. We have the TTS package in the latest version 0.14.3 and let's go up and here we have OpenAI Whisper. And that's all for the required dependencies and now let's add TTS and STT magic to the Python script. For that I've taken some parts of the original private GPT and added STT and TTS. Let's go back to our browser and go to GitHub to my Torsten Voice repository. In the YouTube folder we have that private GPT voice Python script. Let's take the name new file. Take the content. So what this script does, it takes the main part from the original private GPT script, imports STT and TTS packages, and will by default use an input WAF, which should be recorded previously with the query. I know this is uh, just a quick demonstration. I know this can be improved by doing streaming and direct accessing the microphone. But in general, this video should show you that it's possible. And maybe this would be a nice skill for a voice assistant. What we have to do is we have to record an input WAV file with our query. Then we do the private GPT magic, primarily taken from the original script. Last but not least, we do the speech synthesis output with one of the LJ speech based Koki TTS models. I've used Order City as an audio recording tool, but every re tool for recording audio should do the job. So now I've uh, created this input WAF file. Let's give it a listen. Tell me about step time. So this is just the spoken request on my local documents. And now let's see 
what's happening when we run this script. So it will take this WAV file as spoken request, process it and do the speech synthesis, which will by default create an output WAV in the current working directory. So let's run Python private GPT voice. And as you can see here, asking my documents, tell me about step time. And this phrase has been taken from the input WAF file. So Whisper did a great job and recognized my spoken input request. It's now generating the response. And once private GPT is done on generating the response, it will be processed by Koki TTS which will create a wave spoken output, resulting in an output WAV file in the current working directory. And here we are. So here's the output WAV and let's give it a listen. Step time refers to how quickly or slowly an AI model can execute steps in its code as it processes new input data over multiple frames of animation. Okay, so this should be enough. So I know this has lots of room for improvement and uh, you probably would do this more streamlining and not just pre-record the request. And this would be a nice uh, skill for a voice assistant, in my opinion. So, but querying your private documents using your voice and hear the spoken results, this is pretty impressive. <laughs> so I think this project included in voice technology has a huge potential. But please let me know in the comments what you think. And that's it for today. I hope you like it. If it is so, please give it a thumb up. Subscribe to my channel. This is really highly appreciated. And I wish you all a nice rest of the day. And if you like, we might see us next time. Bye.